I'll be talking about the competition information that was announced and also be talking about how the schedule is going to look like for the first two weeks of May Mayhem. So moving forward, all the competitions on Townstar will be on the Townstar Godot game engine and that is expected to go live for everyone on May 1st, 2023. Now some of us have early access to Townstar Godot for the past two or three months now and they have constantly just been updating it and as of recently they updated it with some of the new meta information not everything's in the current version of Townstar Godot as of recording this video but I'm sure they're gonna get it all in there by the time it goes public to everyone. Uh, I'll be showing you around the store, pointing out the new buildings and new items that are already available. The competition meta is going to be Grilled Shrimp Pizza. And this is going to be for both the practice competition and the first real reward competition. And I'll go ahead and explain that. There is going to be a practice competition. That's the first competition we will actually experience on Town Sarkadope. That's going to start on May 2nd, 2023 at 12 p.m. Central Time. All competitions will be four days in length, including the practice one. And the way the practice competition is going to work is there's not going to be a reward for actually placing on the leaderboards, but there will be a participation reward. As long as you participate, you should be getting an nft of a collectible art it's like a card pack it says gala games may mayhem 2023 it's not gonna have any utility it's not supposed to have any utility it's probably not going to be very valuable it's just going to be a collectible that shows you you prove that you've participated in the first week of town sargado's practice competition or Something like that. It's, it's just a collectible, okay? Uh, the first real reward competition, that's going to be on May 9th, 2023. And the meta will be the same for the practice one and the first real reward competition. And then moving forward after that, every week there's going to be a reward competition. Going to be a total of 12 reward competitions from May 9th all the way to July 31st. We're around there. And those reward competitions are the ones that are going to count towards the achievement rewards for May Mayhem. Uh, as for the first practice competition, you will be able to get the first three achievement rewards, but you will not make any progress towards the others because it's not a reward competition. You can't get top 1200 and, and uh, fulfill that requirement. Hopefully, I clarified that. Uh, so if you do the practice competition, you connect your game, you connect your account to your Discord account, is what I meant to say. You do 50 trades and you trade at least one batch of the meta item. Then you would knock out the first three achievements and you would have those done. So yeah, you can get the first three achievements done in the practice competition, but that is all you can do on that one. You don't have to participate in the practice competition. You probably should, even if it's for a couple minutes, just so you can qualify for the uh, collectible arts NFT, just to have it, you know? So now I'll actually talk about the meta information. So the meta is gonna be Grilled Shrimp Pizza. That's gonna give you 200,000 cash for each one you sell and 45,000 stars for each one you sell. It's going to be crafted at the Italian restaurant, which is in the industrial tab right here italian restaurants it has a craft time of 60 seconds the craft requirements are one pizza base five shrimp and three energy and it's stored in the storehouse so the three energy you can do that passively uh, just put in your power plant uh, similar to how a cakery works when you're making cake it's the same situation there Pizza base is a new craft, I will explain that in a moment. Uh, the five shrimp, that was introduced as part of the fishing meta that was introduced a month ago. If you don't know how to make shrimp, I somewhat explain it on my No NFT Salmon Nigiri build, if you want to check that video out. And you will need to know how to craft ice blocks in order to make the seafood warehouse in order to store the shrimp. 
and that process takes a lot of cash and you actually have to understand how to craft icebox if you don't know how to craft icebox i also have a video on that it's going to be called how to craft the ice blocks and full proximity effect explained i'll leave a link to both of those videos in the description of this video so check that out if you're not sure so that's the shrimp pizza next is the pizza base uh that's crafted at the italian restaurant 30 seconds requires two dough two cheese and one tomato paste and is stored in the storehouse so first i'll explain the dough that's nothing new dough is crafted in the bakery uh dough requires five flour one egg and one butter you can see butter is also crafted in the bakery you get your egg from a chicken and the flour from a windmill now i'm going to explain cheese cheese is a new item for cheese you will want to go to the fishing tab and it's going to be the mixing tent that actually makes the cheese the cheese will require two milk and one rice vinegar it takes 20 seconds to craft and it's stored in the storehouse rice vinegar was introduced in the last competition you would make rice vinegar in the sauce facility uh, at the moment it's not available but it should be available in the sauce facility okay i had to double check what rice vinegar requires but uh rice vinegar requires two water one white rice and one sugar cane in order to craft and so two water you can get that passively from a pond your white rice you get it from husk rice and you make white rice in a mixing set next i'll explain tomato paste uh you see it right here tomato paste is made in the sauce facility and that has a craft requirement of one rice vinegar which i just explained same same thing with the cheese and three tomatoes takes 30 seconds to craft stored in the storehouse uh, the tomatoes are part of a new crop so this meta introduces two new one new building one new crop basically the building was the and the uh, italian restaurant the new crop is the tomato farm now in the current practice server the tomato farm for some reason has the same artwork as the sugarcane field but i'm pretty sure they'll fix that once it's public at least i hope they will so tomato is crafted in the tomato farm information on discord it's a bit different from the information in game so i'm not exactly sure which one's correct but i'll read off the one on discord as a building requirements of for water supposedly the cash is correct at 5000 it requires three water in order to grow the tomatoes and they're on a 30 second craft timer even though it says 20 seconds on here so uh one of those is correct <laughs> but yeah that explains all the new items and the new buildings it's actually not that much they they did not introduce that much they basically already had some of this stuff especially since they introduced uh these new buildings and um shrimp on the last uh two competitions so yeah that's all the meta details i suppose i'll share my thoughts like um i can't really suggest the biome because as you know or maybe you didn't know there's not going to be a land rush anymore in Town Sargadot, so you'll go to the competition server and click play. And you're just going to start off with your town, the same town layout as everyone else for the time being. Eventually, we'll be able to select from a different choice of town layouts. But for now, everyone's going to start with the same one. So what I do know so far is they're going to try to start us off with either a forest or plains biome it hasn't even been confirmed but it, it will be one of those two so desert is out of the question that means you're not going to get an oil seat uh if you have passive crude oil nfts that's going to be a huge help if not you're just going to go for the standard gasoline setup the edge biomes haven't been confirmed but they are trying to get one or two oceans in which makes sense you want your ocean for the passive salty 
That way you can get uh, the passive salty that you need for the salt fields because you will need brine for salt or butter for the dough, you know, it goes on. And you're also going to need passive salty for the seaweed, which you need for the shrimp. So yeah, you definitely do want the ocean. So hopefully they get that ocean in here. Uh, the cell timer. The cell timer will be 80 seconds and it'll be one gasoline per sale. I am hoping that the cell timer goes down if you have an express depot or a dragon or you're using the UFO that way you can sell nearly instantly. Hasn't been confirmed, but I am hoping that's the case. And yeah, that's all the information we have on the biome. So not much I can add to that. I mean, that's good if they can get all that in. Uh, only other thing I can say is this pizza build is probably going to be similar to a cake build or a fancy cake build. Uh, I know somebody pointed that out as well. Uh, which is interesting because I have been working on a cake layout and fancy cake layout that I will show off in the next two videos. I'm not going to show it off on this video, so just showing off this little part right now. <laughs> but yeah, stay tuned for that. I will be showing a cake and fancy cake build showcase, maybe something else as well. And then after that, I will start working on a no NFT shrimp pizza build. Uh, in town star godot of course as of recording this video i can't do that because not everything is in the game we are clearly missing some stuff that is required such as the rice vinegar and the white rice but you know once everything's in the game then i can actually start working on some of that and getting a build together uh but yeah it's gonna be somewhat similar to uh fancy cake build uh, layout with a bunch of windmills and you got a couple of buildings making just a few items that you need to make the pizza. Hopefully this video helped you out. Hopefully you found it informative. Uh, consider leaving a like, uh, leave a comment if you have any feedback and subscribe if you haven't done so so you don't miss out on my explanations and guides for Townstar or other Gala games. I appreciate your support and thank you for watching.